Hey there, Chafel here. Today we're checking out Cooking Simulator. Okay, here we are in our restaurant. This must be the food elevator where we send our foods through. What are you? A timer. And what are these? Fryers. Let's turn one on. Oh, look at that color. Now we have to turn the other one too. Yeah, that looks good. It looks like some lava is about to jump out of there. And are we living in some post-apocalyptic world here or something? This looks like the city after a bunch of natural disasters from the day after tomorrow. And oh, what's going on here? This definitely looks like some murder scene going on. That knife with whatever that red thing is, it looks like some intense CSI stuff going on over there. And look, someone ordered a dish. I'm coming. Baked trout. Where's a trout? Here it is. Black pepper, thyme dried, and dill dried. Okay, you sir, make yourself comfortable over here. Dill, black pepper, and thyme. Okay, here they are. Black pepper first. Gently pour some peppers on this side. And you know what? Why don't we actually bring the trout over there? Come here, you. Um, I need to put this down. Where should I put this down? Yeah, that works. So let's get thyme. Pour it on this side, and I'm sure the other side is absorbing all that good stuff on the ground. And then some dill, although it doesn't look like it's going onto the trout. Place on a baking tray and bake for 90 seconds. Where's the baking tray? Is this a baking tray? Okay, we put it over there. Put the baking tray into the oven. Turn the oven on, and then set a timer to about 80 seconds since time elapsed. And then now, cut lemon into quarters, transfer onto a plate. Slice it into four pieces. Trout is probably ready, so let's open the oven. Open it, and yeah, just take it out with your bare hands. Absolutely normal. And then can we, can we like pour this thing onto a plate? I guess not. Guess we'll move lemons one by one. Three and four. Season with horseradish dried, transfer into a plate. All right, where is it? Where is it? Put the plate down. Horseradish and oh yeah, just do some no look seasoning. Okay, now we're ready. Uh, uh oh, nobody saw that. Pick it up, pick it up. How come there's only three pieces of lemon now? Did we drop it somewhere? Uh oh, I think we may have squished that. That's fine. It's not like they're gonna actually chew lemons. In you go and goodbye. Guess is pleased. Good thing that you didn't see how we season things down here. Sometimes it's good to not know things. New order, salmon steak and boiled potatoes. Take salmon filet, season it with salt and black pepper. Okay, let's get the salmon first. Put it on a plate. Put it now. Fine. Onto the dusty wood you go. And get that plate. Put it on there. And someone onto the plate. Why is the door open? Let's close the door. Uh-oh. What was that sound? How did this plate broke? You're not even close to the refrigerator. Let's do some no-look seasoning of black pepper and salt on the salmon. Add to the pan sunflower oil and salmon filet. But where's the pan though? Oh, there you are. So grab the pan. And sunflower oil. Sunflower oil, chicken broth, sour cream, no. Hello? It's fine, we can just put it on the pan. In you go. Fry for 60 seconds each side, and then we now have to prepare boiled potatoes. Add to a pot, water, 1000 milliliters, salt, and potato. Where's the pot? Oh, spatula. Yeah, we're gonna need this. And yeah, there you are, big pot. We're gonna need to pour some water in here. Water, water. Oh, we have to turn this on. Okay, now we can get some water here. We need a thousand milliliters, so 1.2, that's fine. And then get a potato. This is a lot of water for one potato. Oh god, someone's probably about to burn. How do I flip? How do I flip? Rotate. And yeah, that looks good. And now we can turn the heat on this one. Potato 300. Okay, so we need another one. Throw, throw another one in there. And then some salt to add some flavor. I believe the salmon should be good. So let's put it on the plate. Flip it. Flip it. Uh-oh. That looks uncooked. Hold up. Let me do this. And yeah, that looks cooked. So we bring the plate over here. Bring the spatula and move potatoes to a plate. Flip it. Flip it. Uh-oh. Nobody saw that. Pick it up. Pick it up. No, no, no. Pick it up. There's the first one. And there's a second one. Here we go. Should we take a picture this time? Yeah, I think we should take a picture this time. Zoom out a little bit. And yeah, look at that half-cooked salmon and potatoes that rolled on the ground on an oversized plate. I think we're about to get five stars. Here we go. 3.5. Really? We finished taking orders. Finish up and start cleaning the kitchen. Let's close these with our bodies. Keep that dusty lemon on the ground for our next dish. These fryers look very empty. I feel like we should put something in there. Maybe a fryer basket on this side. And oh, a ground seasoned lemon. In you go. And how do I fill oil in here? Oh, here it is. Fill it with the oil. 
And oh, what's that? Are we cooking a sludge or something? Maybe this bug. Okay, let's take the lemon out and put it back in. And then, oh. <laughs> Guess we're an alchemist that turns edible things into industrial waste. Okay, third order tomato soup. Add to a pot, bunch of stuff, and boil it for 60 seconds and blend it. Sounds like we're gonna need a big pot. And we need to empty this. Almost. And yeah, now it's empty. Pour some chicken broth. 12 grams of black pepper, 12 grams of salt, and then some cayenne peppers. Now all we need to do is to add some tomatoes, and then throw our final ingredient onion in there. And then grind everything in the pot with the blender. 250 milliliters of sour cream? Really? Is that what the tomato soup is made out of? Okay, now everything's ready, so let's gently pour them into this plate. No, 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 not that way. How do I, how do I, like... Oh, I have to move it like him. So, and then, yeah. 700 milliliters of tomato soup. I feel like that should be enough. Wait. Oh, no. Where did my tomato soup go? This stupid pot knocked the plate and poured out the tomato soup. Here, have a thing what used to be a tomato soup. Enjoy. If you lick the plate hard enough, you might taste something. Lost 15 fame. Let's see what our guests complained. Flavors. Perfect. Looks like someone licked the plate really hard to say that. Temperature. Perfect. Except there was nothing there. Tomato soup. <laughs> Missing product. Well, you got that right. And this sure doesn't look like what we delivered to you. Hey, look what I found here. A firecracker. We need to buy this. Okay, let's light this thing. Yeah, that looks pretty. And whoa, what just happened? Did it just blow up? That's not a firecracker, that's a dynamite. I like it. Wait, what's happening? I can't pick anything up. I can't pick anything up. Did we lose our arms in the explosion? I, I can't, I'm trying, but it's not working. Well, I guess our arms are gone. Okay, I have to restart the game, but let's know more about dynamite. That's number one. What's going to happen if we detonate one on top of the other one? Ah, two explosions. Okay, test number two. Oh, actually, I think we found a better subject. A gas bottle. What if we detonate dynamite underneath it? No damage. But what if we detonate multiple dynamites? Whoa, that worked. Saw that last big explosion? Okay, we need to do more experiment in the sandbox mode since you can buy things at no cost there. Okay, here we are in a nice clean kitchen. That's number three. If we stack a couple of gas bottles and some dynamite, do you think we can burn all the veggies on the pantry? Nope, that didn't work. I feel like we need more fire power to blow up these gas bottles. Okay, here we are. We have about 100 dynamites in there. Let's see if this is going to work. <laughs> now that's what I'm talking about. Of course our veggies are made out of steel and they took no damage. And hey, what's this? A blowtorch. Maybe we can make this a little bit easier. Can we like grill this tomato? I don't think so. But is it gonna work on the gas bottle? It worked! And now there's a fire everywhere. <laughs> this is spreading fast. But don't you worry, we have a state-of-art sprinkler system that's going to remove all these fires at once. Then what's going to happen if we set a blowtorch up in a pile of gas bottle? Well, that just blew up one gas bottle. And this person seems to be worried about the right fire only while all this is happening. Then what if we mix some dynamites in there? Do you think we can get some chain effect out of that? Fire in the hole. Oh, oh my god, what's happening? <laughs> It's like a popcorn machine, but with gas bottles. Did that blow up all the gas bottles? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. A chain explosion that is gonna bring a hell into our restaurant. Okay, with that confirmed, I think there's a one final thing left to do in this game. All right, here we are. <laughs> <laughs> I purchased a few gas bottles here. I try to remember how many gas bottles I dropped, but I honestly lost the count. <laughs> Maybe a thousand? And I made sure to mix some dynamites and blow torches in there to ensure that we get the best chain explosion out of there. And you, sir, are going to be the honorable blow torch that's going to start the show. But before we begin, there's one more thing we have to do. After all, this is a restaurant and we don't want to waste this great firepower. So I've decided to cook something. How about this? A T-bone steak. 
There are many factors that contribute in making a good steak, but one of them is a perfect searing. And as you guys know, perfect searing usually comes from the high heat. And I believe this is the highest temperature we can create in this game. Do you guys like steak? Subscribe if you're a fan of perfectly seared juicy steak. Alright, I'm gonna throw this in there in the pile of gas bottles to make sure the steak gets high heat on each and every side. And you, sir, come here. Now it's your turn. Alright, blow turkey is turned off. I have no idea how this is gonna turn out. Alright, <laughs> here we go. Fire in the hole. Oh my god, the game just stopped. <laughs> is this not gonna work? Oh. <laughs> my, my computer can't handle this. Ow, this is like a big bang kind of thing. It hurts my eyes. Now everything is white and I can't see anything. It has been a full minute and it's still going on. Imagine you own a restaurant and one of the employees decides to do this. <laughs> everything is gone. Okay, that turned out to be a great chain explosion. Now that all the gas bottles are gone, my computer is working fine. And oh my god, some of the gas bottles landed outside of the restaurant. This is great. Everything is still in place, surprisingly. But the question remains, where is the steak? Is this a steak? No. I spent some time looking for the steak, but I can't find it. Maybe it went to the different galaxy during the Big Bang that happened here. So this is it for this episode. I honestly had so much fun. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in another video.